Proverbs 31.10 says, An excellent wife who can find? She is far more precious than jewels. Proverbs 31.10 An excellent wife is only one that can come from the Lord. Now, there are many good wives. There, there are many situations where a good thing can be worked out. But the reality is, is an excellent wife, the highest level of a wife can only come from the Lord. And that is why there is wisdom in waiting on the Lord. When we wait upon the Lord, we don't wait in vain. We wait with different seasons of patience and contentment. There are going to be times where we want God to move faster and he's not moving. But the end result of always waiting on God results in blessing far more than anything we could ever conjure up in our own doing. And this can be on a spiritual basis. This can be with the wife in which he brings us as, as future husbands. Uh, this can be, um, though it is not at all pertaining to, but it can be sometimes financial blessing if we stay in a job for a long period of time and the Lord all of a sudden just chooses to bless us with you know, the next raise or whatever it may be. Waiting on God in, in any realm, in all seasons, with wisdom even knowing what needs to be done in a relationship, what needs to be done with friends, with family conflict. Waiting upon God always comes with blessing. And that is why an excellent wife is far more precious than jewels. A man can have so, many, so much gold and silver. He can have diamonds, he can have rubies, he can have sapphire, he can have uh, emeralds, he can have any type of jewel. But an excellent wife is far more precious than jewels because jewels eventually wither away. They, they do not uh, last. Eventually we know everything in this world is going to fade. We know that God is going to make a new heaven and a new earth. When that time comes, when we all stand before the judgment seat and after we are judged, he then will do that for those of us who are born again. And we become born again. We believe Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior and we repent of our sins. And when this occurs, we enter into fellowship with the Father. And we know that God is for us and not against us. He, he, he's more willing to give than we are willing to receive. And when a man is willing to wait, when a single man is willing to wait upon God for an excellent wife, an excellent woman, that woman is far more precious than jewels because she is going to be one that builds up, doesn't destroy. She's going to be one that encourages rather than uh, points a finger and downcasts the man. She is going to be one that cares rather than blames the man. She is going to be the one that prays on behalf of her husband rather than always needing to get from her husband. She is going to be one that is going to be worth far more uh, than precious jewels or anything valuable that man might think in this life because an excellent wife who can find it, can, she can only be given by the Lord. And that's why it's, such, it's so important to understand that when we are looking for a future spouse, um, and when we are a male single man, when we're looking for a future missus, we want to look, obviously, at body, soul, spirit. Obviously, there needs to be physical attraction. God is not calling us to marry someone that we are not physically attracted to. Will that physicality have everything we could ever dream and want? Uh, the, uh, the reality is no. Uh, and even if that does happen, uh, thank you, Lord. We can give him praise and glory. But he's not going to have us marry someone that we are not attracted to. So, obviously, that comes First and foremost, she obviously needs to be Christian. We don't want to be unequally yoked. Uh, she needs to love the Lord. She needs to put the Lord first, even above us. She needs to walk in the fear of the Lord and respect the Lord and desire to love other people. Uh, so body, soul, we want her soul to be saved and continually sanctified. She has this hunger and pursuit for God, and she has this willingness to love us um, and, to, and to love those around us. And lastly is spirit body, soul, spirit. We want to be in love also with her personality. This is not the first and foremost thing. Many times we can get attracted to a good personality. We can get sucked in by, oh, they're just so fun to be around. I love their playful spirit. Or, oh, they're just so quiet and I know I can go to them with rest. We can get so enticed and involved with the personality that we misfire on the discernment of understanding where they actually are at spiritually. And if there isn't a constant, uh, and by constant we mean, you know, just like little tidbits uh, throughout the day, maybe it's a once a day, what, whatever it is, you can just tell if someone is serious about their faith. 
And we don't want to lose discernment and all of a sudden begin to water down and portray the spirit as the same as the soul being sanctified and changed. Because sometimes we can get so infatuated with someone that we just love who they are from their looks and their personality that we lose out on discerning their spirituality. Then there becomes this mucky water where we, we begin to think how they act with their personality standpoint is the same as their pursuit, hunger, desire, and growth in God. And that is not a place we at all want to be. And so may we just come to understand that an excellent wife is far more precious than jewels. And an excellent wife can only come from God and can only be given by God. And so if we are single, may we just pray. And may we continue to wait on the Lord if that is our desire. Some of us obviously have the gift of singleness, which is also a gift from the Lord. Singles can do far more than uh, married couples to a certain extent. I mean, married couples together can do more than singles. It just depends what God sees for that individual. Sometimes people need to get married and can further the kingdom much more than if those two people were apart from themselves. But likewise, if this single person were to get married, they might not have as much profitability for the kingdom as opposed to just doing life uh, and the singleness of who they are. We know that pro there were prophets who were married, but also single. We know Paul the Apostle uh, was single, and he did far more than the majority of us will ever accomplish in our lives. And so we just need to come to understand people have different gifts, and if that is our desire, may we pray and wait on the Lord and have the wisdom to wait on the Lord, because an excellent wife, who can find? She is far more precious than jewels, but even God can do the impossible, and he will give his best so long as we are willing to wait on his best.